Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Kirby Bree and I'm back with a new video. It has been well overdue for this video. Um, I just thought that I would put everything together um, and talk about the supplies, vitamins, pills, and other different stuff that you're gonna need. Um, during the first couple of months of bariatric surgery, um, you know, I will do another video later on because, you know, some things may change that I have needed, um, especially with vitamins and supplies. But let's get into what I currently have that you may need if you're thinking about bariatric surgery, if you have bariatric surgery or you're like in the process of it. So let's get into it. First things first, I changed my vitamins. OK, I know you guys saw in the last video which was my one month update i had the mixed berry i ain't even opened it yet because i am so scared i just got it today and it is the orange cream flavor which someone recommended in the comments that i tried um i'm not going to try these on camera because i do not want to get sick but i will try them and i will let you guys know in the description of how the outcome was with these so that's how i do it because i don't want to get sick um, just in case it does. Um, but she did tell me that these were actually good than the mixed berry. Um, so I'm going to let you guys know how it is um, down in the uh, description. So just if you want to know, read below. Um, but you're definitely going to need some vitamins. I do think that it is best to not be like me and wait until you get the surgery to then want to try these vitamins. It's no. You really need to try these vitamins like your nutritionist says. If they recommend, please ask them. Because I know my nutritionist told me to look into bariatric pills, I mean vitamins, and see which one works for me. And I didn't do that because I was already looking at the price. These are $35. Don't nobody got money like that to be trying to test out five different flavors. Like, it is what it is. So I went with the mixed berry and I went until I got the surgery and I was like, okay, I'm going to use this one. But I should have did that. Now, if you got the money to afford it, please do. If you don't, then just take a risk. But definitely listen to me. Don't get that mixed berry. Okay? Try something else. Please. Please. I beg for you. The next thing that you're going to need is definitely a blender bottle, especially if you have to do powdered protein. I know for me, the first two months, they wanted me to do only powdered protein because there's something about the pre-made that has a type of protein in it that's just not good in the first eight weeks. So they told me that I needed to use um, a blender bottle. I got this actually for free. Um, it came with the vitamin thing at the bottom, but I, I couldn't find it for the video. But I got this for free from my um, nutrition visit. The first one, she gave these to us as a sample with some sample protein powders. So this is where I got this for free and it was free. I am telling you, I'm too cheap now with this surgery. But this was free, but I do recommend you getting a blender bottle. Get one, okay? Get one because you're gonna need it. Um, and especially something good to have. You can always put your pre-made in here and then you have your vitamins at the bottom. You know, it's, it's good to have and it's good to travel with. So you're not just walking around with a Premier Shake or a Fair Life Shake and they're just everybody all up in your business. Mind your business. Um, I definitely recommend you getting a scale. My scale is kind of dirty because I've been using it. Um, I have saw a lot of YouTube videos where people have stated to get a food scale. It is mandatory. You're going to need it. Um, if you can't afford it, I'm quite sure your nutritionist is going to tell you two tablespoons, four tablespoons. But for me, I'm too lazy to be trying to keep the count tablespoons. And right now, the way my mind is set up in the beginning process, I'm still thinking big rather than thinking small like your stomach is not there so i'm going to go get a big plate rather than me going to go with a small one so i think that a scale is good for those who are dealing with that especially if you're like me who love food and you haven't got through the process of honey you cannot eat that much so get you a scale it saves you time too i know it's a little time consuming but it saves you time you ain't got to worry about oh, did i eat too much did i stay in my range with the grams just get you a scale it's just, it's going to save you time and energy and this is i got this off of amazon it's 11 dollars. i definitely need a description down below i mean not the description the the web site or where i got this from down below so just check it's going to say items included in video is down there and i'm going to leave the um link for these vitamins which is the bariatric fusion um orange cream that's going to be at the bottom too 
But that right there was like $12 for a scale. You might find it cheaper on Amazon, but I want it to be cute and get the rose gold. I did have this one in silver too. So just go get your full scale. Okay. Target has full scales too. Um, I recommend you getting a pill organizer and I think you should get at least two. Because honey, I fly through this in a matter of a week. Okay. And then I gotta redo it again. And it's like I feel like it maybe you get two, then you'll be like, okay, I don't have to worry about filling this up every single Sunday. And that too saves you time. And trust me, it only takes five minutes to fill this up. You have, I have my thyroid medication in here. I have my um, acid reflex medicine in here. I have my vitamins in here. I take them four times a day. So I put two in the afternoon and one in the evening. Let me show you guys. Um, they come individually um, for each day. So there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, each and Sunday. Each day has their own pill organizer. I do recommend you don't be cute and go get the small ones because what are you fitting in there? Especially when you got to take them calcium chewables. They're square. They're big. Do not go get you no small pill organizer. These are not little pills that we're taking. These pills are big. Look at this. This is the vitamin. This is the vitamin for the bariatric fusion. You go get that small pill organizer. What are you putting in there? Because ain't even one of them going to fit up in there. Now you now now you can't fit your chewables in. I think this is a great size. It's not cute, but it gets the job done. Okay? And they come in different colors. Okay? It ain't about being cute right now. It's about taking your vitamins and being on track and being up on date and on time with your medicine. It's not about being cute. They lose they different colors, they're cute anyway. Okay, I had to tell myself that. It ain't about being cute. You have to fit your pills in here. So definitely this I think was like ten dollars. Get yourself two. Cause I wish I got two because I gotta fill this up every single week and I'd be aggravated. Aggravated. Cause I gotta whip out like ten different pills, fill this up every single Sunday. It's annoying, but I had to save some money whichever way I could. So get you a pill organizer. Ain't it cute? Stop playing. Um, I do recommend that I fought this out in the hospital. Get a pill crusher. This right here was like $7. It's cute. It's pink. It's green. They have some that look ugly, but this one right here was cute and it gets the job done. It definitely crushes up these um, vitamins so I can put them in my shake um, or I can put them in my yogurt. So get you a pill crusher. It's needed in the beginning stages because you can't swallow pills. A pill crusher is needed. Now, I've seen this lady. I'm too cheap. Use your ice your ice tray for the puree or the liquids to, to you know get your ounces in um and to storage your food. I, she had this nice one, them things like $20. If you go to Target, get yourself an ice tray. They hold like one ounce. You take two ounces out of here, you got your two ounces to watch your puree stage or however many ounces you need to take. Save yourself some money. Use your ice tray. It's only 50 cents. These things at the Dollar Tree store, they're 50 cents or a dollar. Nobody got time to be buying no 12 99 little ice tray things. Okay? A ice tray is definitely needed to save you some money and to help you with your portions, too. You know, you fill these up. You ain't got to worry about cooking too much. You put your soup in here, um, your broth in here, and just throw it in a pot. Let it warm up. You're done. Get you an ice tray. Now, I found these today, okay? And I'm going to use it. It's so tiny. Um, I found this in the kids section of Target, and they're like little plates. It's called Pullo Fort Divided Plate. And I think this is so cute. Um, I could put my grains in here. Now that I'm on soft foods, I got this for myself. I can put my meats down here, my grains, um, and uh, my vegetables. So I can put all my stuff here in this tiny. It's not a big plate. It could be a little bit smaller, but I thought that because it was 50 cent, I can't beat this. And I got one for my child too. So this being 50 cent helped out a lot and it saved me some money instead of me going to go get bariatric bowls off of Amazon. Them things is like $30 for just three. So it, it ain't worth it. And it, it ain't worth it for my, my pockets. Plus I work from home, so I don't really need a lot of storage containers a little the little um the containers with the lids i don't need those so i just went and got me a small plate i have little saucer plates go get you some saucer plates 
you don't need any big plates. You want me eating small. You know, you have to start looking at more of the smaller plates and smaller bowls. Then you going to go get big bowl, big plates and big bowls. Like, shift your thinking. Go get a smaller plate. Because when you see a big plate and you see you got this little old food on there, you're going to be like, what? What? I got this big old plate and this little bit of food. Like, now I'm mad. Now I'm mad. And then on top of that, you full and you mad because your plate mad big and you feel like you ain't nothing. So just get you smaller plates. They do recommend that. I do recommend you getting a smaller spoon. Um, Don't get no big spoons. Go on Amazon, order some baby spoons and um baby forks, especially in the first couple of weeks because you're going to need it um i have little spoons that are silver i didn't bring that in here because i ain't feel like carrying all that stuff but i have little silver spoons that i use so i can nibble off my food slowly i do recommend those um you need that get your gas sex especially if when you're going into surgery you need your gas sex um because the gas is real. I said it in my first video. The gas is real. I said it in my second video. And I'm saying it again. The gas is real. Go get you some gas X. Maximum shrimp. Because you won't need it. Um, I have read that you need a heating pad. I didn't really need a heating pad. But I did bring like two blankets with me when I went to the hospital. Just so I could, um, you know, be a little hot heated. Because, you know, they have the heated blankets already in the hospital if you ask for one of those. So I figured if I put two more blankets over me, then I could feel a little heat. Because ain't nobody trying to pay no $30 for no heating pad that I'm only use for three or five days until the gas thing is gone. It's not worth it. But if you want it, go out and go get it. Um, you definitely need a water bottle. I left my water bottle in the car by mistake, but, um, get you a water bottle. I usually get the 32 ounces water bottle. I'm going to leave a link down below of the water bottle that I have. Um, so you guys can see it. It's 32 ounces. It's the flip chug one. So that way I don't have to worry about a straw. Um, and I know once I drink two of those a day or one of them a day, at least with my three shakes, I'm good with fluids. Um, yeah, definitely. You're going to need a water bottle because that's the only way you're going to be able to keep up with water. I mean, you can do the water bottle or in the case, but I just, you know, you got to keep up with how many water bottles you did. But if you fill up that one water bottle throughout the day, you ain't got to worry about it no more. You know, once you finish that, you good. So just save yourself some energy. Um, you definitely want to download the, um, the app, um, uh, which is Bariastic. App, that one that my hospital recommended me to use um keep track of your food keep track of your liquids keep track of your weight keep track of your protein intake um just it keeps track of mostly everything even your vitamins so i love it um i'm not too familiar with water apps but i just make sure that i keep my water bottle on my hip um to make sure that i'm taking in my water at all times throughout the day um, so I don't really rely on apps. I don't want to. I just want to make this a part of my life because once you build the habit, you keep the habit. But if you need the little assistance, definitely download um, a water app that I heard that that's very helpful. Um, and that's it. That's it. I feel like that is so far everything that you need to get started on your um, bariatric journey, your VSG journey. All of that right there is what you need that I feel as though you need. Um, it may be different later on, but so far, this is all the stuff that I am currently using. I want to keep this as real as possible. This is all the stuff that I use from beginning to now, okay? And everything that I am using is not perfect. I am still new. So definitely consult with your doctor, your nutritionist to see that what works for you. Okay. Because a lot of people I know don't have a lot of supplies and vitamin videos. So I thought this was something good for you to, for me to put out there. Because a lot of people don't know what they need when they're walking into um, getting bariatric surgery. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit long, but I wanted to get everything out there. So thank you guys for watching. Love you. Bye.